Hello, this is a 2001 BMW 325Ci fuel injector O-ring replacement. And right now we're in the engine bay. I've already taken off some covers. Over here you can see I've taken off the front top cover, the uh, air filter, air filter cover, air filter box, underneath the air filter. The other panel that goes on top of the, uh, it's the right side panel on top of the engine. And so far I've taken off the electronics for the fuel injector. This, uh, this bar right here, as you can see, is, uh, let's some more light on. It's barely any light. Anyway, the light right there. Okay. Right here, this is what I'm talking about. These clips go into the actual fuel injector ports which are right there. I don't know if you can see that or not, but those two prongs right there are the ones that we're talking about. It goes into there. The clips are actually pretty tricky. The clips you have to uh, you gotta get in here and then you gotta start messing with uh, with these metal clips right there. This is a low quality video. You gotta sort of pry them off to the side and like tweak them out. I did it with needle nose pliers and I tweaked them all out. And then I uh, took a flighted screwdriver and I pried up here. Did that six times for all six injectors. And uh, now I'm at the, now I'm actually at the fuel injector rail. It's just pressurized. Uh, here's the, the capture release and pressure. I actually went ahead and I killed the engine with uh, pulling fuse 54, which kills the fuel pump. So I have essentially drained the engine of fuel, and I. I've already gone to re depressurize by pulling this off. You can see inside of here there's it's just like a tire. It's just there's like no focus in this iPhone. Oh there we go. There we are. There's the uh right in there, you just push that down, you can get some fuel out. I'd say get a rag. I have a rag next to it. I uh if there was no need for it because it was already depressurized and so nothing spilt out. That's a pulling fuse 54. Put that back on. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these rail bolts out. You can see one right there. There's one, two, three. I already took one out. And there's one right there that I already took out. So that one's been taken out. I have four more to take out. Once I take this thing off, there's a, uh, in the back of the engine over there is a quick release fuel line, I believe. So I'm going to snap that out, and I'm going to get these fuel injectors out. So it'll be a few more minutes. This is in the middle of the project, and I will keep going. Okay, this is the injector after replacing the O-rings. You can see that these O-rings are looking plush and nice. Wow. Say, for instance, this O-ring versus this O-ring. This one's a little bit squished. As you can see, this is supposed to be a lot more round. Just a little bit of room, but it's fine. And then the second one is a smaller O-ring, but it's a wider diameter O-ring. That's a uh, before and after. It's a little shinier also. Okay, so I've also cleaned them off. They are rather dirty, so I went ahead and cleaned the injector area off. There's inside the nozzle. Okay, I put them all back in. This is the last one I have. I have all of them in the engine bay are in, so underneath the fuel rail. One, two, three, four, five, and then the sixth one's going down there. Alright, I'm gonna get this in, and uh, I actually, I actually just disconnected the uh, the fuel rail from the fuel injector, so the fuel rail is floating free right now. So I pulled it off. Yeah, after taking the clips off, clips. These are the clips right here. These clips, they connect the top of the injector. That part right there. He, clips in there and then it clips into clips into this thing right there this 
inside there through the clip. So all those clips are out and I just pulled the rail straight up. There's a little bit of force, you gotta pull it. So I pulled the rail straight up and then I pulled out each injector individually. And they just come right out there. They're literally in there, being held in there by the O-rings. So now it's just essentially a reassembly after this. And uh, put the fuse back in and then I'm gonna prime the engine a few times. And I'm gonna give it a shot and see if it works. I'm Pretty confident this will uh, help the engine out in terms of like low end idle, where it's, the engine's sort of losing power at the low end. So maybe this will uh, increase a little bit, and maybe the, thr the throttle will not dip when it gets to the low end. It's also a problem. So this helps your vacuum pressure also, because uh, when these things are leaking, air is getting inside, and it's a uh, and the engine doesn't know that the extra air is getting in through the O-rings of the fuel injectors, and that causes problems. I think it makes the banks run lean. Maybe rich, I don't know, probably lean. But uh, yeah, that's it, and uh, I'm going to wrap this up. Okay, so the main trick to the reassembly is to put the fuel injectors into the rail before you put the rail into the engine. Because you sort of have to snap it in, or like push it up into the top of the, engine, of the rail, so then the fuel injectors already seated before you put them into the engine. And uh, besides that, it's just it's a 10 millimeter wrench right in here to put this back in. I only used needle nose, 10 millimeter wrench, flathead screwdriver, shit, that's about it. And I bought the rings online, so not very many tools to this project, and it's, uh, it's a pretty easy one. Back together. Alright, hope you enjoy the video.